Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. And yesterday uh, the markets kind of had a very interesting start where we had that kind of initial rally following on from that kind of positive momentum that we had on Monday, only for it to start to tick down later on in the session. Now most eyes were of course on gold prices um, yesterday and of course crude prices. So gold's obviously been coming off quite a lot, uh, having reached some quite impressive figures at the end of last week as US rates look quite distant and the markets were a little bit more volatile. It really, really uh, come off quite hard as the uh, kind of risk going came back on, equity markets roared back into life. Um, but it's also all about crude oil prices yesterday and the fact that there has now been a freeze in production agreed between Saudi, uh, Russia and some of the other OPEC members. Now the reality is Production's almost at an all-time ever high, so that, that freeze in production means almost nothing. Secondly, the Iranians weren't involved and they're going to be bringing another five, six hundred thousand barrels to the table. So what you've seen now is that crude oil has begun to slump right back down again because nothing has really changed. So there are three other major considerations uh, for, uh, for a lot of traders out there in regards to the US stock market to consider. Well, we've also got the FOMC statement coming out soon, but let's talk about uh, three major pieces of, uh, of information that's out there. One is the Association of American Fund Managers have come out and basically said that the, uh, the fund managers have got their lowest allocation of stock than what they've had since 2012, which means a lot of these guys are sitting on cash, they're not rotating it all into equities. So that's kind of adding a little bit to the bearish sentiment as well, which is the second, the second factor for us to consider. There's been a lot of bearish sentiment up until now, the question is, are we going to get this big kind of turnaround? So one, fund managers have had their lowest allocation of stocks in 2012. Two, you've obviously had quite bearish sentiment in the markets uh, for a, a long period of time. But the question is, is that going to turn around at some point soon? And three, when we have a chance to have a look at the US 30, have we reached a technical bottom? Because when we look at the support, there's maybe kind of a, a double bottom that has presented itself. So. When we have a look at that in a second, that will give you a bit of an idea. Well, you can make up your own minds at home if you think that's the case or not. But certainly, we've had two really strong sell-offs followed by a big bounce. We've had our most recent bounce just now, and undoubtedly there is this kind of uh, support level, uh, potential support level that is visible. So that kind of gives you the kind of common themes right now. People are still looking at gold. People are still looking at crude, and uh, a lot of traders are asking, is this, the, is this the bottom of the market in the short term anyway? After all the sell-offs that we've had, and also China's kind of coming back to life a little bit. The Chinese government have just kind of doubled the number of large infrastructure projects in the country in order to try and get things um, kind of ticking along there more nicely. So. That's the, that's the fundamentals. Let's have a look at some of those technical factors as well. So, as ever, let's start off with US 30. There is that double bottom right here that we potentially talked about, and you've obviously got that longer term potential support right here as well, right about 15,314, but this looks like quite an interesting point. Looking at the candles and, and, and more of a short term position, we are above that 21 period SMA. We do have the three tips of these candles right here showing that there is selling interest above here. We really want to start getting to 16,460 to get um, any proper momentum behind us. Um, though 77% of CMC Marks clients are currently short, they obviously think that this could uh, sell off that little bit more. Jumping then on to the UK 100, um, three. Uh, Advancing soldiers here, really strong candles, which is great. Recovering commodity prices to an extent. Obviously, crude oil came off a little bit yesterday, uh, helping to uh, to spur that on. Kind of a doji formation there in the short term. We are trading above the 21 period SMA, potentially capped by the 55. The other technicals are relatively neutral. 65% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. We're still in a potential downtrend. Looking at Japan 225. Um, I really love it when, uh, when products really uh, conform to technical analysis nicely. And you can see that Japan 225 hit potential resistance at 16.384, then retreated down. Very, very strong graveyard doji formation right here. I guess you could say it's a shooting star, but uh, we, it has followed through with a negative candle so far again today. 53% of CMC Marcus clients are currently long. The other technicals are relatively neutral. Um, and we look where we are kind of longer term. Uh, that gives you a bit of a flavor. So it does look to be 16,384 is a significant level that we should all be aware of there on Japan 225. Now, dollar yen, um, a reversal yesterday, a move lower at the moment. We're in between two, two ranges. 116 is potential resistance. 111 spot 61 is potential support. Uh, if we have a look at this kind of longer term, it doesn't look that great because we're in the sideways moving market, it's broken lower. 
To be honest, it's kind of hard to look to trade something like dollar yen right now when we're quite firm in the middle of two ranges. So I think we'll just see what happens. 57% of CMC market clients are currently long, uh, showing you that little bit of indecision. So moving on to crude oil West Texas and look at this candle failing to break and stay above that potential negative trend line. Um, quite a bearish candle yesterday. It's gone negative again so far today. Next potential support is it's still at 26.72. We're trading below that 21 period SMA. The other technicals are relatively neutral and 60% of CMC market clients are currently long. Moving on to gold, you can just get an idea of that move in gold. This is again, just another brilliant example of technical analysis and full flow where you've got potential broken resistance now acting as potential support at 1,191. We had a bounce off that level yesterday. Um, obviously it's sold off, bounced off there. It's followed through a little bit higher today. The question is, where does it go from here? Now, anybody who's interested in this, the next potential resistance is all the way at 13.07. It really depends on the FOMC statement tonight and the likelihood of lower rates for longer uh, and what the Fed members continue to say. They have been quite dovish recently, but we have seen a little bit of an acceleration in the US dollar in the last couple of days. So this level definitely strategically significant. So moving on to Euro dollar, uh, again, conforming quite nicely to a potential uh, support. We had this sell off. We got quite close to one spot, 11, spot 05. Had a bounce there yesterday, a bounce again today. 66% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. So there, they must be thinking that the support level won't hold. And obviously it very much depends on Mario Draghi. He still keeps on talking, talking up the idea that he might do QE. Uh, but that seems unlikely at this stage, but they'll, they'll save that for when it's really, really necessary. You've got a bearish crossover on, on the MACD. You've got a, a bearish cross on the slow stochastic. So a lot of the technical factors aren't in its favor, but these are only secondary indicators. The primary um, technical right here is the support level and it's still on the right side of that. And if we just finish up with GBP USD, poor old sterling just can't get a break, uh, even though recent CPI data was actually okay. It's come off again, negative day yesterday, what a shame. 87% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. Anticipate when you look at the trend, it's not massively surprising. The sterling is not as strong as it used to be, incidentally. So uh, one spot 42.28 is potential support, then followed by one spot 41.29. And if we finish up with our market calendar as ever, uh, the market calendar, bring that onto, onto the correct screen. You've got unemployment data today from the UK, housing starts, industrial production, and then tomorrow, uh, CPI and PPI from China, unemployment claims and petroleum data from Thursday. And then Friday, you've got retail sales, CPI, and of course, that consumer confidence index from the Eurozone to finish up the week. Well, guys, that's it for me. Very good luck with your trading. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Thank you very much and goodbye.